Hi, here we have points A and B are 150 kilometers apart. Cars 1 and 2 travel from point A to B. So we have point A and we have point B. The distance is 150 kilometers. Car 2 starts from A when car 1 is already 20 kilometers away. So let's call the points. Okay, points are AB and the cars are also AB. So car 1 or rather it's car 1. Car 1 starts uh, before car 2. Car 2 starts from A when car 1 is already 20 kilometers away. So once car 1 has already traveled 20 kilometers at this point, car 2 starts. Fine. Each car travels at a speed of 100 kilometers per hour <coughs> for the first 50 kilometers. Okay. So for the first 50 kilometers, the speed will be 100 kilometers per hour. For the next 50 kilometers, the speed will be 50 kilometers per hour. And for the next last 50 kilometers, the speed will be 25 kilometers per hour. So we have to figure out when car 1 reaches B, how far will be car 2? The distance in kilometer between car 2 and B when car 1 reaches B. Okay. So let's calculate when does car 1 reaches B. So <coughs> let's say this is time 0 when car 1 starts. T0 is when car 1 starts. Time taken for car 1 to travel this 20 kilometers will be 20 by 100 that is 0.2 hours. So car 1 reaches at this point at 0.2 hours. Okay. And car 1 reaches the 50 kilometer mark in 50 kilometers by 100, 0.5 hours. So car 1 reaches this point in 0.5 hours. Now time taken to travel this next 50 kilometers will be 50 kilometers at a speed of 51 hour. So after 1 hour, so 0.5 hours the car 1 reaches at this point. So another 1 hour will be 1.5 hours. After 1.5 hours, car 1 will reach this point here and to, for car 1 to travel another 50 kilometers it will take 50 by 25 2 hours more so after starting car 1 will take 3.5 hours to reach this point after starting okay now where will car 2 be after three and a half hours so for the first point to us the car is not traveling for the first point to us the car is not traveling at all right for this car to, so car 2, this is for car 1, car 2 starts at 0 0.2 hours from here, right? And to travel this distance, car 2 will take how much time? 50 kilometers at a speed of 100, 0.5 hours, right? So 0.5 hours plus 0.2, car 1 will reach at this point 0.7 hours after car 1 has started. To travel this part again car 2 will take 50 by 50 1 hour so car 1 car 2 will reach at this point 1 hour after 0 0.5 hours so after 1.5 hours fine now the time remaining is 3.5 minus 1.7 so time remaining is 1.8 hours car 2 will travel for another 1.8 hours between this point and this point. So the distance traveled in 1.8 hours will be 1.8 hours into speed for this part which is 25 kilometers. So the distance traveled will be 25 plus uh, 25 into 0.8 which will be uh, 20. So 25 plus 20 is 45 kilometers. So car 2 would travel another 45 kilometers here. So instead of full 50 it has traveled only 45 kilometers. So the distance remaining for car 2 will be 5 kilometers, right? So the distance remaining for car 2 will be 5 kilometers over here. So the answer here is that car 2 is 5 kilometers away from B. Okay. Now a shorter way to do the same question, there is a shorter way to do the same question. We figured out that car 2 will start 0.2 hours after car 1, right? So the time difference between the two cars is 0 0.2 hours. Wherever they, whatever point they reach, the difference between the time taken will be 0 0.2 hours because the whole journey is exactly same for car 1 and car 2. Car 2 starts 
point two hours after car one. Hence, the time difference between any point, time difference for reaching at any point will be point two hours. So, whenever car C one reaches over here, car two will be point two hours behind car C one. So, car two will take another zero point two hours to travel this distance. So, what would be that this? What would be this distance travelled in point two hours? This will be point two into speed of twenty five. Which will come out to be five kilometers, right? So you, here you don't have to break down the journey and look at where is car one and car two at each point of time. Here you can directly calculate that car two will be five kilometers behind car one when car one reaches B. So the answer here is five. Okay, that's it for this question. Thank you.